Hello Libra, thank you for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. This is going to be a reading for September 1st to September 6th, 2020. Thank you to all my subscribers, all the comments, all the views. I appreciate it so much. So, welcome cross watchers. Remember, there's no way this can connect to everybody. So take what you can use and leave what you can't use. And feel free to vice versa the masculine feminine energies in the cards. So, gosh, I forgot to say the birth chart challenge for the video I just did. Oh, my. So the birth chart challenge for the month of Libra was for you to do a little wheel. You have a wheel for your birth chart that will show you the houses in your um, chart. So make your own little wheel and insert the houses that are in your birth chart and try and put little um, words, keywords in your little wheel of what relate to you in that house pertaining to you instead of looking at it as a general. Like make your own little wheel so you know what pertains to you in each house. And you can Google each one to learn if that helps. So another thing I'm incorporating two new decks into my readings. I have the Earth Wisdom which is Oracle Cards by Barbara Moore and artwork by Christina Scagliotti. I love these. First of all, they have a plant in them, they have a gemstone in them, and they have a Celtic uh, symbol in them. So I'm learning a lot about the symbols. And there's so many plants I did not even know um, how helpful they are. And then the second deck is Tarot Illuminati. Now this is by Eric C. Dunn. It's no way related to the Illuminati organization. He says he wants this deck of cards to mean the Latin term for Illuminati, which means enlightened. So this is an enlightened deck, deck for him. And he says his cards all look like a stained glass window. They're really beautiful. This is one side. I'll show the other side when we pull them. But he has four cultures in his cards, which I really, really, I get so much out of them. It's amazing. He has an Oriental culture, Elizabeth era of England culture, a Persian inspired culture, and a fantasy culture in his cards. So... I just get a lot out of them. So let's go. First of all, I'm going to pull the Earth Wisdom for you. I'll pull three of those oracles for you. So hope you're all doing good. I love these cards too. I just beautiful. It looks like they have like a tree of life on them. So the first one for you is Blessed Sight 28. So 28 could, if you add the numbers, be an ending, could break down to 10. But let me find 28 and see what it says. So 28 says, Blessed Sight, lavender soothes the soul, mind, and emotions. When calm, it is easier to see good in the world, the blessings in any situation and understand the lessons to be learned. And it says, Rhodochrosite is a lovely stone that increases inner strength. Difficult situations are a part of life. While they are not pleasant at the time, they play important roles in our lives, or they can if we have the right mindset. The divine in your inner divine self can see the big picture, allowing you to glean important lessons about life and about yourself. Engaging your divine sight allows a blessing of calm understanding which helps bring things back into balance. So let me see what symbol I, oh I already see the symbol in here. So it's on her, right here it's the threefold spiral which is transformation. So it's telling you to try and see what's coming for you. Try and see the blessed transformation that is ahead of you. Even though it seems like you're having a dark time right now is what I'm picking up. So then it says Prosperity 32, 5. That's beautiful. So things are going to change in your favor is what this says to me. So have faith. Just hang on. It looks like things are going to change for your for the better for you. Oh, and I'm looking at the wrong one. Okay, here it is. So Prosperity, it says... Money plant resembles the full moon, the fullness of power, blessings, and abundance. Beautiful Libra. Dent Dentric agate is known as a stone of plentitude. 
When things are challenging in terms of money or resources, the inclination is to hold tight to grasp at what you have. For prosperity is meant to flow. Don't close yourself off from the abundance of the universe by giving into a scarcity mindset. Plant whatever seed you are able and receive what is given. This is beautiful. So you're really fearful of your money situation and this pretty much says that you don't need to be in. So I'm looking at the symbol on here and it looks like what I see is the single spiral. And the single spiral is growth. Beautiful. And you see the full moon in there so I feel like something good could come to you on the full moon which is the second if I didn't already say that of September. It'll be the full corn moon. So you can charge your crystals, remember, on the full moon. So the next one, beautiful, is boundaries number one. And this has a Celtic cross on there. Look at how beautiful that is. And that's eternal spiritual love, where your spirit guides and angels are guiding you to see the beauty within yourself, how strong and beautiful you are. Look at that. So, Yarrow helps establish and defend healthy boundaries, strengthens the aura and sense of self, and heals energetic wounds. Amber reinforces boundaries. Creating clear boundaries is necessary for maintaining good emotional, physical, and spiritual health. If your sense of identity is weak or if you need to heal energetic wounds, establishing boundaries is vital. Defend your right to thrive like a warrior serving the divine spark that resides within you. So find that spark within you right now, Libra, is what I'm picking up. Somebody has hurt you or you feel really lost and hurt. Some of you, you feel disarrayed is what I'm picking up. So that had, that had to happen for you to learn something about yourself. I know it's, I'm getting the word devastating. So you're going to grow from this and learn from it. So it's going to have a meaning, a meaning as why it happened is all I can say to you. So I'm going to switch to the Chakra Wisdom deck now, Libra, and you have the moon. This is could be Pisces placement. This is yin and yang. To me, this is balance. This is something that wasn't known to you coming to know you. And it could even be something about yourself, the strength that you didn't know you had and that you're going to realize it. I feel. You're going to be like, wow, I had this all along and I didn't know it was in me. So then you have the devil, which could be Capricorn placement. This is somebody who puts nothing into a relationship. So I feel like there could have been a toxic energy where you gave 100% love and somebody gave nothing. They just took from you. And that would explain the spiritual energy wounds that somebody... Toxic could have hurt your energy. So Seven of Wands is you have opportunities around you. And I feel like there's one certain opportunity you kind of focus on that you really want to go for or take. And then Five of Wands. Five of Wands is people gossiping and talking about you. A lot of gossip, talking, lower energies. So King of Wands. The King of Wands is somebody who can do a whole lot of things. He can... Plan the romantic dinner for his mom, or I mean for his wife. I don't know why I say that. It's so embarrassing. Plan the romantic dinner for his wife. Take his mom to get her hair done. Take the children to the trampoline place to play. I mean, he can just do everything. To me, this is the king that is stable, secure, and long term. So Queen of Wands is somebody who knows her worth. Somebody who won't let anyone play with them anymore. It's like, come at me, come at me right, or don't come at all. I've been hurt, and I'm not going to let that happen again, is what I feel you're saying. So, Princess of Wands is new beginnings, and I feel like you're protected from the divine. I really do. I feel like your new beginnings, the people coming towards you right now, they're protecting you. They just want you to learn something from what happened. They want you to align a little more. It's not meant to hurt you or break you. So, Knight of Swords is somebody coming in with a throat chakra, I feel like they're spying on you, so they could be coming in to be hurtful or mean or end something. The Fool. The Fool is my precursor to you taking a leap of faith. There's something that you're going to take a chance on. Six of Coins. The universe is saying you have good karma coming to you, Libra. You've put good karma out in the universe and they're going to bring it back to you. 
Ace of Swords is you cutting something out. Somebody's spying on you. I feel like you found out something about somebody and you're not going to deal with it anymore. Princess of Swords, a lot of spying. A lot of spying. Why is there so much spying here? That's so weird. So one more. Five of Cups is somebody who has regret. They miss somebody from the past. And they're very sad about it. Must be you, Leo. I mean, Leo. Libra. <laughs> so let me go ahead and... I shuffle all these decks a lot before I turn the camera on. But I like to give them one more so they can fall into place where they like to. They have time to sit and think about it. <laughs> Listen to me. So the first one of the Tarot Illuminati is Seven of Cups. You have many opportunities around you. Libra, there are a lot of people that are interested in you. There are lots of choices you could take. Free will. Many opportunities around you right now. Beautiful. So Five of Wands. You do have the Five of Wands twice. So there is gossip and jealousy around you. We have the clarification card right here. So then Queen of Swords, and you did have the Queen of Swords, did you? No, it was the Queen of Wands. But you have the Knight of Swords. So I don't know what's going on there. I don't know if somebody's coming in to apologize or they're spying on the Queen of Swords. But the Queen of Swords won't put up with anything that isn't for her highest good. So if this person is coming in to play games or manipulate, you're on to it. It's not going to happen. They're not going to be able to do that because you're not going to let it happen. So I'm going to um, tell you something, Libra. I have my um, card giveaway when I reach 5,000 subscribers on my channel, but I need to practice early. So I want to give away a deck of cards and try a company and see if, they, if I like the company before I use them for the 5,000. So this is Saltwater Reading Cards by Laura Bowen. She's out of Australia. She's made more cards. And she's really into the um, wildlife in Australia. But this deck of cards I've used like four times for myself. I've never used them on my channel. But they're in a magnetic box that closes. And they come with a book. And then the cards, of course. So I'm going to give this away. I need you to go into the comment section and put Saltwater Reading Cards because... If I just put everybody's name in there, some people don't put contact when they subscribe. Some people don't come to my channel anymore. Some people aren't interested in the reading cards. So that's why if you leave a comment, I know you're interested and I can put you in the drawing. And I won't respond to you because when I respond to comments, sometimes they disappear. The comments are really weird on my channel. So I'm going to see it, write it down, I'm not going to respond. And hopefully on September 6th I can do the drawing. But... Bear with me, it might take a little longer. And hopefully it'll work out good and it'll be all accurate and I'll be happy and I can use that company. So the next one for you is King of Swords. So you have the Queen... Oh no, I want you don't have the Queen of Swords, do you? You have the Princess of Swords. So again, a lot of spying. Oh, you have the King of Swords twice. This is what you have. Or no, this is a Knight of Swords. What am I doing? So you have the Queen... The Knight and the King of Swords. So a lot of spying going on. I feel like the King of Swords is really, how do I say this, a lot of masculine energy coming off him. I feel like he's disappointed. So Nine of Wands is you feeling like you've really had to fight to get to where you are. It hasn't been easy. You are like warrior mode, is what I'm picking up. So then you have the wheel. Beautiful things are changing. So the warrior mood, I feel like once you get in there, is going to change your life. You're going to make better decisions that are for you, not anyone else. And five of swords. So you have it twice, right? Or no, you have five of wands and five of swords. So five of swords... Yeah, it's you feeling like you have to defend yourself. You have to defend yourself to other people. It's crazy how many other people get involved in other people's lives. So, Seven of Wands. So, this is you feeling like you have to defend yourself again. A lot of defense going on here where you feel like you have to defend yourself. That is really amazing. So, I think I need to switch to the other decks. I stayed pretty long on that deck. 
So yeah, let me look real fast though and see what's next. So the hangman is next. The tower. So you're in a delay and I feel like a tower is going to happen to where it's going to push you to change. And then down the road you have two of cups, which is a traditional love coming in, which looks like it stresses you out. But you have the lovers, which could be Gemini placement and Ace of Cups. So it looks like you have true love coming to you and somebody traditional, Libra. I don't feel like it's this person you're with right now. I feel like somebody who is going to come towards you is going to do everything correct. They're going to date you correctly, they're going to treat you correctly, and they're going to propose to you correctly. There's going to be no confusion, no playing games, nothing. So, the Soul's Journey lesson card for you is Denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. So, this is your sacral chakra. There's something you're denying, but you're aware that if you change it, it could change your outlook. It could change a lot, and you're aware of it. So, even though you're in denial, I feel like you were in denial, but you've come full circle to it. Fear. I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So this talks about fear. They both talk about fear. This is your sacral chakra and then your solar plexus chakra. These two. So this says fear and this says fear. So whatever, don't let somebody hold you back. I feel like somebody is causing this fear in you and this denial. And you are stronger than this Libra. Do not let somebody take your power and put fear in you and cause denial. You are stronger than this fear and this denial power. Than any of this power anybody is trying to put on you. You are stronger than that. That's what I'm picking up. I don't know who is around you trying to... Ugh, they're just trying to interrupt you it seems like. Trying to, yeah, interfere. A lot of interference. And your power is stronger than any of these interfering people, Libra. So look at this, the gift of neutrality, 34, 7, heaven number. So this is, you have an, it goes back to the yin and yang, the balance to me. You, something's going to balance out, seriously. You have the buoyancy to not float to the top and the buoyancy to not sink to the bottom. You have the power to deflect negative energy off you right now. The universe is protecting you. Whoever this is, their power is in no way as strong as yours. I cannot stress enough. I'm getting it so much out of these cards. Blend into the environment, 36. You have many skills and can fit into any situation. Take time to assess what is going on around you and adapt accordingly. So just go with the flow. Adapt. Kind of go below the radar and lay low for a little while is what I'm feeling with this. It's going to help you to build your self-confidence and it's going to help you to get the people who want to notice you and are supposed to notice you, notice you. If that makes sense. So, you, wow. It, I feel like love is coming to you. I really do. So now I'm going to pull the Angel and Ancestor cards for you, Libra. Mountains, stand your ground. This talks about being in the ground, strong and sturdy, and then reaching to Father Sky. So this is balance again. I cannot explain to you how you are balancing yourself out so well. It is, I can't even, I just can't even tell you enough. You're balancing. Whatever the situation was where this person came in and just kind of threw you off balance, I feel, with your emotions, because their emotions overrode yours. And you're getting ready to show them, oh yeah, look what you did, but look at what you didn't realize. Libra is stronger than anybody trying to put whatever they're trying to put on you. Druid, hold the space. Beautiful. So this is the divine protecting you, the divine guiding you. I feel like you're going to listen to your intuition. And you, you... You're going to get information on what you need to do to deal with this, is what this says to me. Hold your space. Let the universe kind of blend into the environment. Things are going to balance out. You're going to... You're so strong, is all I can say. You're going to... Things are going to go full circle, so to speak. I get it with this, the full circle. Your strength and your neutrality... And you're holding strong in your self-positiveness and not allowing fear and other people to push their stuff into you is going to allow you to go to your love. Your love is pretty close to you. I, I mean, I hate to 
put, I don't even know the time frame. I'm not good at time frames yet in the cards. I'm trying to better myself at that. But for some reason, a year is coming to me in my mind, which is a long time for people who want love. I know that is. But a lot can happen in a year. I mean, a lot. So I hope this helps you, Libra. Thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Um, welcome, Cross Watchers. Thank you so much. Bless you. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It helps my channel a lot. Bless you, Libra.